Hi guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. So uh, I done one video on the Atlas Lay series that uh, I showed some, um, I was taking measurements on the spindle to see if there was any axial play or if there was any end play. And I did have some end play and I, I kind of asked, you know, hey, how much is appropriate, how much isn't? And I got a lot of great answers and um, folks out there were good to explain it to me. But I want to... Um, I want to send a special thanks to uh, Wally uh, from Florida there. Wally says, hey man, he says, uh, if you have the manual lathe operations, it tells you exactly how to adjust them in there, you know, and I've got a copy of this, and, you know, I've read this, but I, I don't know if I just didn't remember or forgot or whatever. So, hey, Wally, thanks uh, again for reminding me and, um, and pointing out that I actually already had the uh, resource material. But uh, for the benefit of those who maybe who don't have the uh, uh, Atlas manual lathe operations yet or still looking for it or haven't bought it or whatever, I thought I would briefly run down the procedure um, that it takes to uh, adjust these bearings. And the other thing I want to apologize for, I know I have some horrible lighting. I got a fluorescent fixture above the lathe uh, that I just replaced. Uh, you know, I had a spare somewhere, but they're really giving me a fit. So I think... Uh, I got to figure out something to do else for lighting. So anyway, uh, what's the procedure to adjust the? Uh, now this is uh, keep in mind this is the only the uh, this is the procedure for the lathes that have the Tempkin bearings. Okay, so if you have uh, plain bearings, there's different procedures for adjusting them. You might want to look in the uh, in the uh, Atlas uh, book there to to get those. But if you're uh, one of those guys out there who have the Tempkin bearings, here's what you do. You start out, you want to run the lathe from 30 minutes to an hour. The whole idea here is that you want to get the uh, spindle uh, warmed up and at operating temperature. And they note in the book that for about each 50 degrees uh, Fahrenheit rise in temperature, the spindle will expand by about two thousandths of an inch between the bearings. And then, uh, so once the, uh, once the uh, lathe spindle and bearings have been warmed up, you'll loosen the set screw on the thrust nut on the left of the spindle. You're going to adjust the nut so that there's no uh, axial uh, uh, play on the spindle. And then we'll have to adjust the thrust uh, nut an additional sixteenth of a turn. That happens to be equal to two teeth on the uh, spindle bearing. Okay, And the whole point behind that is to provide the correct preload on the bearings. So after that, uh, tighten the set screw and you're good to go. They said that uh, when it's cold, there should be a slight drag on the bearing. So um, uh, the whole idea is that uh, when they heat up to operating temperature, the spindle expands and you still have no uh, end play on the bearings. So um, that's the procedure. So I'm going to reposition the camera here and point out a couple things and I'll start to lay then we'll get it warming up. So I'll catch you here in just a second. Okay, so here I'm at the uh, headstock of the machine. Uh, again, remember, I'm going to run it between 30 minutes and an hour. I'll probably let it run, I don't know, we'll split it 40, 45 minutes while it's running. Of course, um, I'll turn the camera off and we'll come back when it's done. And then over here on the left, there's an adjusting collar. Now, most of these collars are uh, quite thin. This one happens to have index holes on the back, so I'm not sure where this came from or, or if it's part of a larger attachment or what. If it is, I don't have it. But our set screw here, we'll loosen that. We'll adjust it. We'll put an indicator over here on this end. We'll adjust it and push and pull until we have no play. And then we'll go an additional two teeth on the gear here and lock it down and we should be good. So let's uh, close this here to be safe. Never know when somebody's going to walk by, namely my wife. And uh, let's get her going. All right, so the timer's running, and we'll come back here in 45 minutes. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, the lathe's been running about 45, 50 minutes, so I'm gonna. You see that I got the indicator. I brought it over here, so I'm gonna shut the lathe off. And um, at this point, it, the bearing sh and, and spindle should be warmed up enough. So I'm gonna position the camera so you can see the indicator. Set the indicator up, and uh, unplug the machine, and whatnot and well we'll start so see you here in just a second all right so hopefully there's not too much of a glare there and if i push and pull on the spindle you see there's oh quite a bit of in play so what i'm going to do is i'm going to loosen the uh, set screw here and we're going to tighten it 
putting this in. Until that's better, but it needs a little more. Okay, I still got about my head's in the way there. Can't really tell. Let's see here. Pardon my head. Okay, I got about a half a thousandth. I want to take a little bit more out of that. Okay. Still about a half. So tighten it up just a little more until the and play is gone. Okay, that's pretty much gone. So now, over here at the other end, I'll reposition the camera so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to tighten this up um, two more teeth or one sixteenth of a turn. So I'll bring you right in here in just a second. Okay, so I'm going to bring this collar right and sitting right now, right between these two teeth. I'm going to come over two teeth. To preload the bearing. I'm just sticking my okay there we go. Now with the belt loose I should feel a little drag and I do. Alright so we can tighten this up and the end play has been adjusted so it's a uh, pretty easy pretty easy to do. I'll bring the camera back over here around and let's see what uh, let's see what kind of a uh, run out we have. So I'll bring you right back. Well dummy me I forgot to hit record on the camera so I'll leave you the still shot instead. So I spun the uh, spindle around several times with seeing very very little deflection on the uh, dial test indicator uh, maybe a couple tenths you know just very very little deflection so I think that uh, you know tightening the headstock bendel bearings you know according to Atlas's uh, method in their book uh, was definitely an improvement for me and uh, so again I want to thank Wally G from Florida for reminding me that the uh, procedure was already there and available to me and and uh, if I would have been a little more cognizant of things that I've been doing maybe I would have remembered that I read that so anyway, uh, if this video has been helpful, uh, please share and like and subscribe. Uh, tell your friends, uh, you know, if they, you know, could watch this here to see how their spindle is supposed to be adjusted or or whatever. Uh, one thing I do want to say is I very much appreciate uh, all my subscribers and my viewers and uh, the feedback that I get from them. Thank you very, very, very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, find you to be quite a blessing. So. Other than that, until the next video, have a blessed day.